What's up guys, how you guys doing? So yeah man, back again. Um on this video here guys, what I wanna talk about, I wanna talk about like recording your I'll 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 put emphasis on keys, man. I'll put emphasis on keys and I'll speak about keys specifically instead of like everything else. I don't know, maybe with it's probably the same with drums and everything else. But basically just generally just recording, like live recording stuff instead of actually like clicking and inserting things like one by one. You know, um so let me just check something quick quick. Let me make sure that my MIDI keyboard is connected. Let me just add um add Botsonic. Then let's do this. Just give me a second. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, there you go. So I want to talk about just recording. Ish, I wish I could show you guys um what I'm seeing, like the view that I have here, so that you can sort of get an idea of what I'm talking about. But basically, what I'll do is I'll record. Um, I'll play something from my MIDI controller, and then I'll record it onto FL Studio, and then. I'll just compare the two things for you guys. I want to compare. I want you guys to hear how when you record live and when you just click and insert sounds, how it sounds different and actually sounds sort of better when you record as compared to when you think. As compared to when you just click. So let's do the clicking method first. Let's come up with something for clicking. Let's just make it uh, like this. Let's do this. Let's say we want to make a uh, C major or whatnot. So we're going to click there. Let's just do that one. Let's make it about four keys, right? Let's do that. So we're creating a, a quick chord right here, and then let's just drag it out. That's a clicking method. That's what I'm doing right now. Let's do this, and then let's say we want to take it, uh, let's say Control C, Control V, and then and then say, let's do this. Um, Take it up to there. Then let's see if that fits in. understand so you have that basic chord right there sorry sorry let me change the instrument let me make it a key make it a piano or something so let's do this uh so it sounds like this so you get it repeat so that's very basic right that's how it sounds but pay attention to this now you see how we were clicking everything right so we basically just clicked one two three four copy and paste so the ve velocity and everything else is the same right there's no strum effects there's nothing going on in here because we basically just clicked on everything so everything for this note is the same for every other note but with recording with recording what it does is, is it creates that live feel effect it creates some bit of strum effects that are like subtle but you don't feel it the velocity how hard you press a certain key as compared to other keys also affects the way your chord sounds you understand so what i'll do now is i'll do this say clone then i want you guys to listen to this part here so let me just quickly do let me just insert a random pattern here pattern three then let's go back to pattern two then let's say I'm gonna record the same chord here, which was this one here, right? It was this chord here. I think, is it? Why do I feel like it's so, why do I feel like it's different now? Let's check, let's double check. Nope, slightly higher. There you go. So that's basically the chord right there, right? So what I'll do now is I'll record the same chord on this pattern here, I'll record it and then I want you guys to pay attention to how different it sounds. So how you record is you go here, then let's say pattern two, let's do this, then say automation and score, right? Then we're gonna start recording. Three, two, one, let's go. See? Then we stop that, done, boom, right? Now, look at this. I want you guys to pay attention to this here. This is the part, this is the one that I recorded, right? So pattern two is the one that we recorded now, pattern one, 
is the one that we just clicked on ourselves and inserted. Look at this here. You see that that variation right there. Look at the velocity, how it changes everywhere. Obviously, like this is supposed to be to make it the same as the other one. We're gonna move it and put it here, just like that. You see now it's basically the same. But look at how there's this variation in this, how hard you press the keys and everything else. Let's compare to pattern one where there's hardly any variation, it's all the same. You understand? So sometimes it's the little things like that, guys, that actually have create or make your song sound different. You might try and recreate a song, but because your keys are you pressing the key, you clicked or you inserted the things, the keys manually, it's gonna sound the same. There's not gonna be much variation to it, you know. Whereas with this you get so much variation and then all you have to do now is just time everything so for example this one yeah might be too close so i might just move it to align it properly i might just put it there and then let's check that one at the end as well and see this is not supposed to be there this one's supposed to be like this so next thing you just like quantizing basically and you can do that yourself manually or fix it like using there's an option to quantize stuff but quantizing is mostly just for the minor stuff me moving everything around it's beyond quantizing i don't know what it is i think that's an extreme version of quantizing but you can see how this looks look at the time look at where this one starts that one there that one there it's because of the little like small delays and what what you'd call human error or whatever you want to call it it's what gives it a different touch as compared to the other one so let's listen to the two things and hear how the, how they sound Let's start with the one that's actually just like very dull and let's listen to it. It sounds like this pattern. Done. Let's go to the next one. This one sounds like this. I don't know if it's my ear or not, but like for me, I'll probably like, I prefer this one more because it has more of a live touch for human thing to it as compared to the other one you know so that's why i say like if you guys can and you have a midi controller you have any other instrument and you want to do something rather record that thing than to click things in you know recording only just creates that slight difference in touch slight difference in feel and it just it creates it makes the song feel more alive you know whereas when you quantize everything and you make everything so perfect Everything is just going to be like in order as it is. So imagine this and then check in as well a bit of swing up to like 34, 35%. Like this will sound very good as compared to the other one, you know. So I think that's why I say if you guys can try and record. That's the main, that's the main key difference that I, I realized. I just recently started recording as well, like recording my keys and all these things. Before I just used to click away. You guys have seen the videos. I used to click away. But if you can... Try and record because that's the upside of recording as compared to just clicking away the keys and inserting them one by one. If, for example, let's say you don't have that and you don't have the you don't have the a MIDI controller and you can't record, what you can do is you can do this. Click on that instrument there, the select, highlight your stuff, come here, down, edit, and then no man tools, then just do this. No, not a pigeon. Why the fuck this? I appreciate it. Sorry, guys. Um, let's come here. Tools. And then you want to do strum. Strum. You see what happens with strum? Automatically just creates like different time starting zones. You can also move it around, fix it yourself, do it the way that you want manually. That's an option. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do. You see the velocity as well. You can adjust it yourself the way that you want and so forth. So that's how you would, um, if you don't have, if you can't record it yourself, manually you can do it like this using uh, your mouse and everything else it could still work but obviously it just won't have it won't be the same because you'll be trying to achieve something that you could have done easily when, when you were recording like using your hands you're trying to achieve it by moving a few knobs here and there so i think that's the upside of recording live your things such as keys and everything else i mean imagine if you're recording drums guys because i mean most drums it's just like go 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 or whatever you know and then they always on time. They always on the same. Ka, 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 ka. There's never like a slight change. Whereas a little bit of change, a little bit of difference, always as an effect, always as a a human feel to your beat to your song. You know, 
And yeah, man. So that's basically it. So that's basically how you should record. I don't know if you guys understood everything. That's how you basically should record. And that's why you should record things such as your keys and certain sounds. Like if you can record them, rather record them, you know. And that's basically it, man. Yeah, so like, subscribe, comment, Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, follow, WhatsApp, all the jazz there. Shop, shop, buffet. Let me know if you guys need help with anything else.